Thanks for joining me today in our Connect lesson. It comes from Mark 1, 29 to 39. Have you ever read Waldo books? Do you know what that character is? He wears a red stocking cap, black glasses, and a red and white striped shirt, and he always carries a cane. And if you've looked at any of the books, or maybe a puzzle like this one here that I have, the idea is, is that you have to look through everything to find where Waldo is, correct? And that's right, there he is. It's a fun game to play, but it's not so fun to be lost, is it, if you were really lost? But this is just for fun. I also have another picture. Take a look and see if you can find Waldo in this one. Were you able to find him? Here he is. Take a look. If you've ever been lost or you've been looking for someone who's lost, it's a scary thing. You wonder where they are and it's not as fun as looking for Waldo in the pictures, is it? Well, in our scripture today, there's three parts. There's Jesus healing, there's Jesus praying, and then there's Jesus with a greater purpose. And we're going to talk about that part where Jesus praying. So let's listen to the story from Mark 1, 29 to 39. Jesus had been traveling around the countryside, teaching, preaching, and healing the sick. He had become very popular, and everywhere he went, there were great crowds of people. They came to hear him teach about God's love and to be healed of their diseases. One day, Jesus went to visit in the home of Simon Peter. When he got there, Peter's mother-in-law was sick in bed with a fever, so they told Jesus about her right away. Jesus took her by the hand and helped her up. Immediately, the fever left her. She was healed and went in and began to fix dinner for everyone. When the people heard that Jesus was at Peter's house, a large crowd of people began to gather outside the door. People brought their sick friends to Jesus, and he healed many people who had all different kinds of diseases. The next morning, Jesus woke up before anyone else. He went outside to spend some time alone with his father in prayer. Later, Peter and the other disciples were looking for Jesus. They were really worried. They looked everywhere. When they found him, they said, everyone is looking for you. Jesus answered and said, let's go to the nearby towns and villages so that I can preach there also. This is why I have come. So Jesus traveled all around Galilee, teaching, preaching, and healing people. Some people are still looking for Jesus because they don't know about God's love yet. Lucky for us here at Pilgrim, we come together each and every week to learn about God and the wonder of his love. Bring along your friends if they don't know about God's love. We would love to have them. So today we learned that Jesus continues to preach. He healed someone just by a touch and he went to God and prayed and then went out to teach some more. Thanks for joining me today and also in the description of the YouTube video, you can find a craft that you can download and do that goes along with our story today. I hope you'll join me again next week. Let us pray. Dear God, thank you for bringing all of my new friends and my old friends together today to learn about your love and how Jesus spreads the good news out into the world. Amen.